All right, so a bit of a warm-up. Uh, remember, simplify each expression by combining like terms. So if they're the same letter, we can do that. Um, so for example, if I have four oranges in a bag and then I add two more oranges to the bag, how many oranges do I have? Six oranges, right? So we can just add 4x plus 2x. Um, since the x is the same letter, we can just add them. Same thing is true for b, 8p minus 5p, 3p. And for c, um, this is actually going to be as simplified as possible. So we would just say our final answer is, um, preferably we'd put the n squared first to there. That's our final answer. Uh, the reason we can't add those is because one is an n and one is an n squared. The next part is all about distributing. So go ahead, give those a shot, pause the video, and then go ahead and check your work. All right, so you should have 3x plus 12 and negative 2t minus 6 for those first two. Uh, so remember when you're distributing, you just multiply each of those things by 3. Uh, it's important that you do multiply by the negative in this problem, uh, which is why I left this one, because this is going to be the hardest part about today's lesson is doing part C, is taking that negative 1 and distributing it to all parts. And you'll see what happens is actually the signs just change, right? This is a positive x squared, so it's going to become a negative x squared. This is a minus 4x, so it becomes plus 4x, because a negative times a negative is a positive. Same thing here. This is a negative, minus 6. It's going to turn into plus 6, and that's your final answer. So the numbers don't change at all. It's just that does. A blank is a number variable in a product number and variables with whole positive number exponents. Okay. A monomial. So some examples of monomials. Just 5 by itself. The letter X. Negative 7XY. Notice that's all stuff that's being multiplied in that. And then 0.5X to the fourth. Uh, decimals are fine. Positive exponents are fine. What's not a monomial is something like this because we have a negative exponent. Otherwise it would be just fine. This one's not going to be a monomial because we have this subtraction. It has to be all multiplication. Um, and this one, negative exponents, okay? because this is an x cubed, so if we moved it up top, it'd be ne x to the negative 3. That's negative exponents again. Um, so this one, if we come back to, is actually going to be what we're talking about down here. Um, and that's going to be if we have more than one monomial in the problem, then we call it a polynomial. So a polynomial is a monomial or, or a sum of differences of monomials, added, subtracted together. Um, so for example, if we want to go back, this is a polynomial because we have two monomials added together. This is also a polynomial because we have two monomials, 5n, 6n squared, added together. So when we want to add or subtract these, um, it's actually, as far as adding goes, the same thing as combining like terms. Um, I do recommend some colors or some shapes when you're underlining these. We've done that in class so far, but just so you can organize your work. So when I start these problems, we'll start with A. I'm definitely looking for um, the same variable. So here I see a P cubed and a P cubed, so I know I can combine those. Um, and so 12P cubed and 8P cubed is the same thing I was talking to over here. Uh, it's going to be if I have 12 apples and 8 apples and I put them together, I now have 20p cubed. And so then we look for our next thing that we've got going on. Well, I've got 11p squared there. There's nothing I can combine it with, so we're just going to put it together down here. So a reminder that you can't put even letters together if they're not the same exponent. So p cubed and p squared need to stay split up. Also, just kind of a general rule is when we put these in order, we put them with highest power. So the 3 is bigger than the 2, so that comes first, and then also alphabetical if possible. Next problem, 5x squared minus 6 minus 3x plus 8. So we're going to combine like terms. So I see a 5x squared. Uh, there's nothing to combine a 5x squared for with. So I just write it down. The next thing I see is a negative 3x. Nothing to combine a negative 3x with, so we just write it down. And the last thing we've got is a negative 6 and a positive 8 plus 2. Uh, remember, I know that this, the two pinkish numbers here, the negative 6 and the, negative, and the plus 8, go together because they don't have any x's or x squares in them. 
All right, try the next two on your own. See how you do. Pause the video. All right, D looks challenging, um, but because there is a plus sign here, um, we are distributing just kind of an invisible one, which means since it's positive, we don't actually have to do a whole lot there, and we can just drop the parentheses. So that's going to become 6x squared minus 4y plus 3x squared plus y minus 8x squared minus 2y. We can just kind of throw all of that together and now start combining. All right, so we have x squared minus 5y. So you can see the x squareds that combine, you can see the y's that combine. Uh, notice in this problem, I am underlining different colors and for all of the problems, just to keep my work organized, I know once everything is underlined, then I'm finished with the problem. So it's just to help you out with that.